We can get an auto save in there. We got a quick save in there. I guess we did. Well. Well. Hmm. underestimated that okay so we are not going to that inn let's not go to the inn stand away citizen hmm. we got nothing for that I will show you just we need I think we need a magic missile is there another inn in the town <laughs> like somewhere else we can rent hmm Because if we had a magic missile, we could prevent her from casting a spell. Would be a big deal. I don't think there is... And it seems to just be like... Start. Okay, wait, wait. This, there is another place. Ah, oh, it doesn't have rooms. Crap. I've got this. Ah. I've got this. Oh. I guess we could go back and try to fight some wildlife. Take on some bears and stuff. Maybe get level two. We could try to press on into the mines. Press on like the very first level, maybe. You have been waylaid by enemies. Oh well, this is bad. Defend yourself. Hail and well met, traveler. We should kill that one last, Senja. Such good manner. No, no, there's no reason for this to turn violent. Hand over your belongings and you may yet live. Oh, I think we're gonna... You should listen to some... Oh, else. no. Perhaps you've noticed our associates who are even now aiming their arrows at your hearts. Raise a hand against us and they'll cut you down. For a lot of people here. Can we just run? Now then, empty your pockets. In. What's going on back there? Oh. Someone gonna save us? This is impossible. Saint Jack, hey. I swore I would crush it's that guy. out of you someday. Today is that day. Dorn, you should be dead or rotting in a Luskan prison. How did you find us? I'm happy to see you, Dorn. Leaving you behind to take the blame was all Simeon's idea. He's the one you want, not us. Just following orders is a coward's excuse, Dorothy. And I haven't forgotten what you said when I refused your advances. What advances? She would never consort with a half orc, especially when she has me. Change, Dorn. You're as stupid as you are a good tailgate, Dorothy. Sanjak was the first to agree with Simeon. He always hated you. But you know, I didn't feel the same way. You are both mewling cowards, turning on each other as easily as you turned on me. Half your men are already dead. You'll join them soon. It didn't have to be this way. We've beaten you before, Dorn. We'll do it again. Attack! Okay. So we've got an ally here. Someone is going to help us. Maybe won't die. I've got this. Yeah. I've got this. Sure. 
please. Um, so there's two archers over here. Guys, like, no one's. I've seen it do this before. Oh, keys aren't. And what number over thing? They're like giving me a tool to edge. That's like. Nice. Don't click on things. That weird control. So we can't really go rushing into melee anywhere. Sorry about the jumping. What's causing that? Let's try, like, backing up. Maybe they'll aggro on a door. Backing me. Not. Okay, wait, wait. They're attacking Dorn. Oh, okay, so now they're all attacking Dorn. So, um, first off, can we, can we just... Alright. So... Attack this, uh, ranged bandit. Oh my god. Oh. Crit. Did I do a crit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna have to go back and fight some wildlife. Um, we need more hit points. So we're gonna turn around and fight bears. Uh, Don't worry about go me. back. After I one. This. We'll look for some bears and stuff. Maybe okay. adventure around some more. Because clearly that that's not what we're doing. Oh, also. Or reloads. Let's go. There's room for three digits there. We're probably going to need all three. Oh, there's a bandit. Uh, once again, we, we still have no spells. Yes. But he's dead. Another bandit. Let's see, I think he's gonna die too. <clears throat> 3 XP, I like that. Yay. Everything went better than expected. No bandit scouts, so right. We can turn those in for money. That's good. Get these arrows too. You want it? You've got it. Okay. Well, a little XP. Gotta go do that a bunch more times. Go explore around. Maybe we can find some gold, treasure, or something. Good. This area. Oh, yep. This is where uh, is where this game basically opens up. Is around chapter two. We need some experience. Here. Okay. Oh, that is a hobgoblin. They're pretty scary. We probably want to keep our melee dudes. I'm on it. Just put them in front. Up, up. It's lost morale. That's good. We're going to keep our melee guys there. Have our uh, ranged attackers. Oh, well, no. Nope. There, okay. Yep. Ranged attackers knocked it out. That's great. We're in good shape. More XP. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go knock down all these map spawns that we have. Some of them, a few of them are going to be random. I think, like those bandits, I think were random. Those hobgoblins, I think. Uh, 
that's we can't jump in. I guess we're gonna go back around. We can't find something else to fight. See, there's a pretty big map. There's a bunch of stuff around here that we can go fight. Some trouble we can get into. We'll get a bunch of XP. Hop goblins. <laughs> They're not all the bandits, all the hobgoblins. Some more. Great, these are going really well. These encounters don't always necessarily fight so smoothly. We're taking practically no damage. A dark spot here. Let's go fill that up. Utilizing <laughs> now. Have the heals. Consider See anything done. too spooky? Make sure to back up. You want it? Potentially spooky. Do a better position. Probably a bunch of them. Right, what's this then? Which attackers go for that? Fine. Oh yeah, there's a We're going to keep our melee attackers in the front, but we're going to have our ranged attackers. Yeah, okay, I need to move these. No, <clears throat> oh, I need to turn the AI off. And now, yep, our warriors have blocked off the path. We're going to aggro onto those warriors, have our ranged attackers ping them down. Turn on this gold. Don't worry Wait. about me. That's actually a pretty profitable fight there. Gold coming out of that. Seven. can find anything else in the uh, top spots of interest on these creatures hiding in. Oh, here's some hobgoblins. <laughs> Let's smack those. Uh, we should be targeting this one. Okay. That's one down. Nice. Okay. Don't worry about me. It's about free there. Get everyone out. Put the money here. Ooh, a spell scroll. That's helpful. I've got this. Quick. 
we are still a ways off of a level up. See, because that um, experience is shared, we're going to need to do like a quest or something. But uh, running around here will ensure that whatever quest we wind up doing pay off. There's some gibberlings. Three. Fight them. Come over here. Used attacks. Yep. Because they can't get here. Do okay. need to send Heart Throw back. Mix back into Don't worry about me. Air with Rongakus. Think away at these while they run around. Get some free damage. Darts have too short of a range, so can't attack. Don't worry about me. Now they've moved around. They're gonna come around this corner. Sorted. We're gonna attack them as soon as they do. Additional advantage. One, there should be another one. Yes. We got another one. It's good that we stayed out of melee with those because gibberlings can give you diseases and that can be pretty devastating. So we really didn't want to take a hit from them. Don't worry about me. Every hit can be a disease contracted. <clears throat> there is. Yep, there's another. A little bit of gold up here. We need every scrap of gold we can get. That. We are up to 216 gold. Wow. Just zoom in. We'll be buying magical items in no time. We can find anything else of interest. We're coming here to the bottom right corner of the map. For most of it, there's still a little bit left. There's that area over there down into the left this edge into formation big sheer cliff side here we can't go up that big can actually go over there not. Well then, let's go uh, down here into these areas, see if there's anything else left to fight. Interesting. Beyond to another map. I think we may have skipped over some quests that we can do in Baragos. Well, so perhaps talking to some folks in Baragos could net us a thousand XP. There's some bandits. Let's back up. Group. That's the beauty of that auto pause there. Dead. Ow. Don't worry about me. Here we don't have any heals right now. We need to, um, we should probably be doing more than just quick saving. I've got this. I think that is this. Buddy. <laughs> Portal Bender Wind. Ooh, get out of my yard, you hooligans. Kinda hard to be a hermit when... <laughs> what? Kinda hard to be a hermit when people keep pestering for hints about the nature of existence. Read a book, people. Portal Bender Winden does so command. 
<laughs> um. <laughs> Your yard? Let's see. Well, I don't know who he is. Don't speak to me of such nonsense, old fool. Have you come? Oh, well, no, he might kill me if I'm, if I'm petulant to him. So let's apologize. My apologies for disturbing your peace. No doubt you are so isolated because you wish to remain alone. Hmm? Oh, yes. And that and my disturbing personal habits. As well, people don't mind advice when they're looking for it. But having someone around continually spouting proverbs and truisms really puts a damper on the picnic. It's worse than when the ants steal the cheese, if you know what I mean. Eh? Wow, you're really hard to look at. <laughs> the, uh, your insults are misplaced. I only wish to speak, and you could have simply said no. I will leave you. Wait, I'm sorry, but you have misconstrued my meaning. A little blunt I am at times, but I shall speak plain if you wish. I meant that your aura is hard to look at. It is exceptionally volatile. You are at odds with yourself in a most literal fashion. I've not seen another such as you. Though I get the feeling that your type does not live exceptionally long. I would predict a violent end for you, but I can see nothing of your future. It would seem that your coin is on edge. Enough chatter. I have wasted too much of your time. And mine. Leave me. Hey. You will leave him then. Portal Bender Winden. See if we can, we can cross the river from over. Looks like we get over. Heal some stuff. Cross the river. We cannot. Looks like there's a cave here. There isn't. How strange. This definitely seems like there should be a cave here. But there is not. Perhaps there was one and they removed it. Or maybe there will be one if we are doing a quest. I've got this. Well, um we can go in several directions. If we go to the south, it'll just take us right back where we went. I've got this. Oops. You want it? You've got it. We can go down to the carnival or we can go to Nashville. Um, we're going to hit escape to go right back where we were. And You've got it. I have to go back to Baragos. We're going to go north. All the way back to Baragos. We killed everything on this map. We did net a good amount of XP there. But he's at around 300 now. We're gonna be everybody zooming along. Once we get haste, we'll be able to make these travels a little faster. Also, once we've been somewhere, we can just walk past it or walk straight there with fast travel. So when we want to go back to Nashville, we can just go straight there. We will never have to go into. I think while we're here, let's also exit out the west at the east map edge <clears throat> just to see if there's anything interesting. Oh, it does give us something. There's wilderness maps. There's lots of wilderness maps. We are going to just go straight to Baragos. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend Ooh. yourself. Um, this is bad. That's a lot of enemies. This is part of SAS. SES. We need to do hard song. If you insist. And. We need to just kill them one at a time. Send. Get over here. Have 
Oh, arrows. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, that's another reload. Okay. I've got this. Hmm. I guess we aren't going directly there. You want it? You've got it. Right. Oh, got up the reload counter again. Struggle. Wonder how high it'll go. Will we get to four digits before the end of Throne of Ball? That encounter was nuts. There were so many bandits, and they hit so hard. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, we are. We need. We need experience. No bandits? No bandits. Okay. Okay. Um. Down here. Red sheet. You want it? You've got it. We'll get a rest. That way we have some heals. All this journey was done without heals. <laughs> Gotta get people to stop aggroing onto Jeff. He's having a bad time. He's dying. Don't worry about Poor Jeff. Get into this building. Oh. Locked, but it's an inn. Guess that's not how we get. Why is the door hit? You're at the end of your rope. Oh man. Oh, okay, well at least hopefully he doesn't have magic. I mean, he's got gusto starting that right right in my face. Like, we're gonna smack it. Don't have any magic. I don't have anything I can do other than sing a bard song. We're gonna do that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, bard song. Excuse me. Why, why are we stopping? In the bard song. Ah! Uh, oh no. 10 damage. I'm on it. Okay, we're sending him outside. Oh, the crit miss. I think we got another reset. Yep. Ow! Oh no. Gotta get her to drop, get him to drop back row. I, think, I don't think Madame Stabs a lot could take a hit here. I think we're gonna take a death. Oh my gosh, we can't hit him. An 18 is a miss? Oh, yeah. I don't think we're supposed to be here. Supposed to be. I need a 19 to hit him. With our, with Jeff's Thaco. Oh my gosh, a 60. I think this is not going to go well. Apparently, he lands another hit. Yep, okay. Oh my gosh. Save after the travel. Well, we might get two reloads in here. Okay. Both ends that we have gone into. Why, why are we not allowed to rest? Why is everyone trying to kill us? We just need to get more healing spells. Every inn we go into, someone tries to make us dead. Ah! Oh no. Why did they do that three times? Come on. Oh man. I guess, is the jovial... That sounds like not an inn. Sounds like a bar. Is there another inn? Is there anywhere we are allowed to sleep? Gold. 
If you would only stop people from trying to kill us, please, I would be happy to frequent your establishment. Like, where, where are the guards? Where are the guards in these taverns? They just let people kill each other for no reason? That guy. The burning wizard? Is somebody gonna kill us as soon as we walk in here? Aw, oh, man. This guy's walking up. Okay, oh, he didn't walk up to us. I really thought he was gonna. <laughs> okay. You want the whiskey? Yes! We yeah, have found a safe place to rest. Let's go! An inn that doesn't try to kill us. It's not the Amityville horror anymore. Okay. Um, well, I think that, that a merchant rest will get us fully healed. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room. But as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. And though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away, something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn, and don't look back. Alright. Well, we rested. Seems that it only healed us for two hit points, and not three. That's okay. Good. I've got we got some heals. <clears throat> don't worry Hopefully we won't insta-die. First person we talked to. I like money. I am... Oh, I'm sorry, I should read this. It says, Hail, adventurers, I have a proposal for you. I have heard that you're an excellent group of warriors. How would you like a well-paying job as bodyguards for money? I said, we're always on the lookout for money. Tell us more. I'm Garrick, and I work for Silky Rosena. She's the most skilled musician and actor along the Sword Coast. In fact, she's to play at the Ducal Palace before the month's done. However, she's been having some problems of late. Some thugs have been hired by Feldapos to hurt her bad because she didn't perform at his inn when she was supposed to. Can't blame her for not showing up. What with a villain like Feldapos running the place? She needs mercenaries to protect her until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. She's willing to pay about 300 gold. What do you say? That sounds fair. Why don't you show us to this mistress of you? I think you've made a good decision. Now, just meet me outside of the Red Sheaf Inn. Aw, oh, man. We can't go into the Red Sheep Inn because we're going to die. <laughs> Maybe it'll go better. But we don't have to go in. So, Garrick, these are the only mercenaries you could find? I guess they'll have to do. You look to be worth about 300 gold. That's what my little Garrick offered you, isn't it? I offered them 300 gold, just like you told me. 
Well then, I assume that Garrick has explained what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians when they come to threaten me. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but I would advise you to strike fast. Whatever you do, don't speak with them. One of them is a mage whose mystic words can sway even the most wise of men. Okay. Uh -oh. Here they are now. Feldapus thugs. Strike when I tell you to. Greetings, Silky. We're here as you've asked, and we have the... Don't try to threaten me. I won't be easy prey for you to beat on. I've brought friends. What are you talking about? We're here with the gems that... Shut up. There'll be no weaseling out of this one. Strike now. Kill them all. Uh, stop this madness. We won't murder those who are obviously innocent men. Our deal is off. In any case, you're probably too cowardly to be any good in a fight. I'll deal with them myself after I deal with you. Oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, this is not good. Uh, she's casting a spell. Hmm. Hopefully the dart lands. What spell is she casting, I wonder? Okay, well that's not too bad. I was worried it was like a lightning bolt or something. Um. Just gonna keep smacking her. Okay. Oh, that's... What'd she cast? Power word sleep. This is sleep. He's dead though. Hey, 900 experience, let's go! And we got the worst bodyguard ever achievement. I've got this. Hey, stuff. And things. We got money. Um, what? Oh, the potion. <laughs> exactly enough to wear the scale mail. <laughs> Carry nothing else, so wait. Okay, well, now we just wait for Jeff to wake up. That went smoothly. I thought that was going to go much worse at first. Just ended with Jeff unconscious. Um, oh yeah, I usually do. I just, uh, I got distracted. Sorry. Hope you're still here, Jack. Let's see, pre-made party. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I know how to access a lot of the quests and stuff. So we're still going to do a lot of the stuff in uh, the game. But yeah, it, we we are gonna miss out on some of it, um, and yeah, I, I don't know if we'll bring all five characters into Baldur's Gate two. I'm not sure. You can rest in the streets. I thought you couldn't rest in the streets. Thought it would stop you. Hmm. Okay. Hey, sorry. I feel bad. I uh, definitely missed your chats. Gotta be better about that. I need to um, find a way to actually get it up as like an overlay in the corner of my screen. Um, so that I can see it. Like on top of what I'm doing. But I, I haven't done that yet. So, yeah. Well, these guys are probably going to give us something. Say thank you. We thank you for stopping the evil witch before she killed us. Here, take this as a token of our appreciation. Ocean of defense. All right. There we go. You're at the end of your rope. Oh, no, no, no. Right. I forgot. This guy's going to kill us. Oh, oh no. Um, do we run? I think we run. Maybe there are guards that will, that will defend us. Did we see any guards anywhere? Uh, I don't think we did. You want it? You've got it. I think maybe we just run. 
We allowed to run during combat? Oh! Someone's encountered. Covered. Can I have a phone? Does it chase us, I wonder? Wait, wait. I don't think he's chasing us. <clears throat> Might be good. Yeah, we just run. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the stream. I see we just got a few people here. Welcome, welcome. Or just uh traveling around. I wanted to go get some rest so that we could get our healing spells back so we can go run around and get some more XP. Triggered Act 2 a little too soon, I think. I started getting into some combat encounters and it went very poorly. So we are now uh, going to explore some of this area to the north where things are a little bit lower level. Let's see about that, but I think we can probably trigger some side quests in this area. I forget what side quests are around here. I thought we were being chased, but it seems like we actually aren't. Maybe. Side quest. You want it? Okay. You want it? You got it. Perhaps. Okay, what about that guy who uh, tried to sit there? Just hang out there. Here. Hey, you. <clears throat> um. Silk stead. Or Silky's dead. I guess she had it coming. Can't be evil like her and expect to get away with it. I'm out of a job now. Would it be too much to ask if I could join up with you? Like, yeah, I'm good, buddy. Who's gonna go in there? Don't we, worry about me. Him. We did get a good amount of experience from that. But we still can't really take on any of these uh, in fights yet. Nobody at the Thunderhammer. Um, we did get arrested at the Burning Wizard. Maybe somebody at the Burning Wizard, wizard has it. There was somebody with a name. Here's Zerlong. What's a thief to do, eh? You, you invest in some boots of stealth, set up shop in the Badlands to the south of Baragost, and wham! Along comes a tribe of hobgoblins, and they tear the boots right off your feet. Damn blasted bullies is what they are, and I'll pay a hundred gold to whoever can get them back for me, I will. Oh look, it's just Dorden. Oh, he pickpocketed me. Oh, rude. <clears throat> a pesky thief named Zerlong has been pickpocketing me every time I try to get a word in edgewise. But I'd rather not cause a scene. He did mention losing some boots to the hobgob to hobgoblins in the Badlands south of the city. I get the sense that returning those boots to him may be the only way to make peace and have my money returned. The long can be found at the Burning Wizard Tavern in Bear. Hey, Badlands south of the city. We have a mission. Day to perhaps make some gold. Let's stop by some other places. Maybe find some Don't other stuff to do. Oh, this is a random house. Wondering and probably not helpful. This spot has a name. Maybe this Kagain will give us a quest. I've got this. Greetings. I am Kagan. What can I do? Kagan. Uh, what kind of shop is this anyhow? I run an escort business. I hire mercenaries to escort caravans en route from Om to Baldur's Gate. Right now, I'm looking for some strong sword arms, and I'm willing to pay high. 
It seems that one of the caravans under my protection never arrived at Baldur's Gate. I need to know what happened. You look like a strong group of warriors. Interested in a job? Sure, we always need more money. Tell us more. That's good. I've been living with a lot of problems, or I've been having a lot of problems with bandit activity lately. But they've always only taken the cargo and let the caravan go afterward. I've been catching flack from the family of some of the passengers of this caravan. After all, it was the job of my mercenaries to make sure everyone got safely to Baldur's Gate. Normally, I wouldn't give one damn about some stupid whiner, but one of the passengers was the son of Antar Silvershield, and in his part of the world, his word is law. So, do you want the job or not? Uh, sure, as soon as you tell us how much we'll be paid. I'll pay each of you 30 gold per head, plus a share of any booty, if there's no one left alive to claim it. That's pretty cheap. I guess it's money. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, I'm glad you guys have some sense in your heads. I have an underling who can take care of business here while I'm gone. So let's get a move on. I don't want to have him with me. He's trying to walk up to me. <clears throat> got hardy hides, folk. If you ever need a little more dwarven muscle around, you got it. Okay. So we've joined up with Kikane, who wants to find a missing noble. Really desperate to find the kid. Duck a bit. Don't worry about me. So, uh, let's see. One moment. So yeah, yeah, we can definitely go do these quests without the characters. Let's just double check it on that. Great, so we can go do Kagane's quest. We can find Zerlong's missing boots. Mayor of Nashkill gave us a quest, but we're not going to be able to do that for a while. We're going to take on some of this lower level stuff first. Bell to pass in. Someone in here has a quest for us. Someone in here will try to kill us. Let's find out. I've got this. Oh. Here now, get out. I don't like your type in here. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. Um. Do we ignore him? It looks pretty wimpy. Not wearing any armor. Let's ignore it. Not far. I got some cheap beer for ya. Keep a low profile, if you please. Tempers are short for strangers, right? So, what do you want? What do you have to offer? What does he have to sell here? Okay, well, we can get magical arrows here. Oh, and a magical axe. Interesting. Excellent composite bow. Very good items for sale here. And some spells that we want. What? Let's sell off some of these gems. Get rid of these bandit scalps. Any money. Careful. Look at that. We got lots of money. <clears throat> now we don't have quite enough to be spending on this stuff. We've got some other needs that we want to get met first. See, we could think of picking up a copy of Reflected Image. This is a pretty good spell. This is like a low-level mirror image. Um, but we don't really have the spell slots for it. 
into fine done. Um, let's see. Around here, there's just Duncan and Marl. Let's get out of here then. Um. Hey, I told you to get lost. Ain't no room here for ye troublemaking strangers. Sorry, I don't want any trouble. I'll just go on my way. I don't really want to go there. But that's the way. Get on back to whatever hole you crawled out of. This to your taverns for decent, hard-working folk. Why don't you get a trade or something instead of wandering around annoying what should be left alone? Adventures. You want it? You've got it. Well. <clears throat> Maybe, maybe this fire bead even air. You'll give us something? <clears throat> Find out. Low quest to do. It's a hard to find decent folk nowadays. Ah, next time you pass through Candlekeep, you should read the History of the Bell in the Depths. It is an old favorite of mine, I'm sure you would like. That's I've got this. Good. All he has to say. Okay. Uh, um. Oh, he didn't ever go in the jovial juggler. Don't worry See what's down me. here. Maybe we can get a quest there. There's somebody with a name. Yes. They did quite a number on me, those half ogres. There's a band of them fortifying themselves in the mountains south southwest of here. If you could give them a taste of justice, that would do me proud. Oh, we found another quest. Half ogres near Baragods. Okay, so doing this stuff is gonna get us the experience we need to handle that Act 2 stuff. Aye, so everyone's heard. Everyone's a rubberknucker then, is that it? Old Gurky has had his famous cloak stolen right off his back by a batch of paltry tasloy. Yeah, yeah, it's old news, and if you make one crack about the cloak would being an appropriate place to lose it, at least I'll put your liver on the menu. Now move on and let the people, next people in line have their laugh. Okay, because he assumed that we were mad, or we were laughing about his, uh, his cloak. We're going to harass him about that. But I guess we're just gonna go to we're gonna go to the cloakwood and get the cloak. <clears throat> sure. I like cloaks. We got a couple quests there. That's nice. Oh, this is uh, going smoothly. Let's uh, let's explore the city a little more and see if we can find another quest. We've revealed all the houses over there. So there might be another thing up here. Let's look there. Thanks for uh, hanging out in the chat. Glad to have you here. Doesn't look like there's anything, uh... These commoners aren't quest givers. They just sort of say stock lines. Mm -hmm. I think that's all the quests that Baragost has to offer for us. Put those out. Half ogres. 
the south southwest. Turkey's cloak and the cloakwood. And Entar's son, who is missing because of it. Oh. South, southwest. We would want to go west from south of Avergost. This is a friendly water check. I've not had water recently. A little bit of it. Prepare yourself to maybe uh, show your pet some love, show family members some love, a little stretch, whatever makes it feel good. Seven so it looks like the quest is on a bit of a timer. Uh, this way is part of the route to Baldur's Gate. What a beautiful morning. <clears throat> oh, let's see. We're simply me arriving at the coastway together with Kagain. And the original Baldur's Gate would end this quest. That's pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Oh. Don't worry about me. Let's uh let's worry about that later. Fine. Hop goblins first. Take those out. Okay. Glad to have you here. Welcome, welcome. We are playing SCS very hard. We're playing on insane difficulty. And I triggered Act 2 a little too fast, I think. Tried to get in there thinking that we would be able to handle a couple of the fights in Mirror Kit. One shot. So I decided to take a step back and do some of these quests from Baragost. We are going to exit out the west side of this map to find some of these hobgoblins. Take those out, get ourselves a hefty little chunk of XP. There's some. Oh, there's a lot of hobgoblins here. We need to step our cleric up, just in case we need a heal. Good. Let's do that. They're all aggroed onto our melee characters. Wow, that's so many hobgoblins. I wonder if this is the quest. I thought that we would have to go to another part of the map. Um, so let's have these split their damage. Damage half and half. Try to kill off both of these pretty quickly. Oh, there's some damage. Put a damage on us. Okay. One of them is running away. Let's let's let him. Oh, he's dead anyway. Okay, great. This is pretty much over. Here we go. Don't worry about Ooh, wow, that was a, a lot of hobgoblins very suddenly. They just kept coming. We've got some... Oh, I believe these are Zerlong boots. We have found the boots in question. Great, that was unexpected. Gold. More gold. What's this? Sorted. More stuff. This bag is full. All right, let's drop off. Uh, we don't need these. Sword for that matter. Oh, my sword broke. Ah, gotta deal with that iron sword. The other room. Okay. Oh, 
those boots that I just picked up, those are boots of stealth. They're pretty good. Giving them back will also give us quest completion. Lots of XP. I think we want that more. So that was that was one of the quests, but it wasn't the quest I thought it was. Let's go these. We quick save, so we're in good shape. We've got a heal that we can, we've got two heals we can dump. Please, so we are good to keep adventuring. You want it? You've got it. Want to exit out the west side of this map? That's going to take us to our next quest location, which is also Hawk Up. And another one down. Bigly McSmackington coming in clutch there. Huge damage. And this, I think, is where the Hobgoblins... You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Don't see any enemies. Oh, they're wild dogs. I've got this. They're not, I guess. <laughs> they're not aggressive. Well, that's fine. I've got this. I give XP. Uh, <laughs> I give XP. Bonus XP. Why is he melee? Oh, no, oh, sir. Don't worry well, about me. They're just gonna run away. Okay. But we are here. I think this is where we will find a bunch of hobgoblins. Quest. We can go up this north and track down Entar's son. Which would be Kagan's quest. Oh, yep, Wolf was hostile. Okay, thought it might be. Uh, bad timing, Footy. <clears throat> Shh, I'm spying on Bacillus and his spooks. They're funny. I've never heard of his funny spook before. Why are they so funny? Bacillus keeps on telling these stories about how happy he was as a kid. But all of the spooks just kind of moan and mumble and stuff like they're not really listening. That's what my brother Johnny used to do before he disappeared. Mumble like that when they when he weren't really listening. You just stay here. I'm gonna go and tell my friend Nettie about this place. She'll think it's really funny, what with her daddy gone and all. Uh oh. Uh I feel like that's not good. Poor young Footy is as tragically mad as everyone else in this dreadful place. He has been watching the foul Vasilis trying to spot his own family amongst the animated corpses. Hmm. So there's apparently animated corpses here. We should be careful. We did kill the wolf, at least. That's good. Okay, um, so we might run into a necromancer. Yes. Oh, yep, here, here we go. They were, I think we were looking for these guys. You surrender or you die. You make choice, and you make choice quickly. Zargal has no patience to wait for slow-witted city folk. It's time to die, you ugly knob goblins. You very stupid for city folk. You die screaming. Zargal's strongest one there is. We'll see about that. Okay. I think we're good. I don't know how many other hop goblins there are. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Um drop a heal on him. Hopefully he doesn't just die before the heal gets delivered. We're gonna try to get into melee with this archer. Oh no, the casting failure. I think that's I think that's gonna cost the fight. Oh how strong yep. Another reload. So let's play this out a little bit. I just want to see what kind of hits we would need. So yeah, that is uh I don't think we're doing this one yet. 
that's another fight I think we need to level up for. <clears throat> so let's track another reload, and we'll come back here when we've leveled up. This one is strictly level 2 stuff. Don't okay, so turn it around then. Let's go turn in those boots. And maybe go after Entar, son. That'd be good. We could also go try to rescue Dinah here. That could be an option. But that again, I don't know if we can handle that fight. We want to just travel back to Baragaz. We're going to have to defend ourselves from these gnolls. They're kind of scary. Let's see. Um, well, if we can su successfully defend ourselves, we should be safe. So let's cast Sleep. Oh, that, that worked great. Okay. Yeah, we're in the clear here. Come to think of it, I maybe could have tried... Actually, let's go back. Let's try to sleep... Try to sleep these. Got this. Instead. I don't know if I should count that as a reset, because we had won that fight quite easily. Let's try casting sleep. I forgot I had that. Maybe, just maybe, we can hit a couple of these. In good shape. If it doesn't work, we'll track it, we'll track another reset. Well, I think it will work. Gonna attack on Zarkal. Okay, ow. Oh, we put two of them to sleep. That's amazing. I think we can actually do this. But we're gonna have her heal herself. Actually, wait. Um, there's no reason for that. Let's, as soon as we get into melee. Yeah, he can't use ranged weapons anymore. I think he has to deal. Huh? Yeah. Okay, and our ranged units are going to keep attacking them. Malkax has lost morale. Let's actually get on Meltix, I guess, if he's going to run away. Okay, yeah, sleep work. Great. We should have done that in the first place. I forgot I had that. He's going to keep running, and hey, there we go. We got it that time. We need to use our kit. And we've got one more guy to fight down here. Malkax, the original archer that did that big hit at the beginning. Lost morale now. Weapon unusable. That's fine though. There we go. Alright. Base getting the kill there. Let's have God's plan drop a heal on herself. There we go. Okay. Um, now we can take on a little more fighting at this point. We got a lot of XP for those kills. 165. Ooh, and 650. Let's see if they dropped anything. Don't worry about me. Funny. Let's see if there's anything else good here. A lot of money. Ooh, a magical sword. And some potions of healing. Wow, this was a great haul. Don't think we can identify that yet. How do you identify? It? Not happening yet. That's okay. All right. I've got this. Oh, good fight. Good fight. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far, everyone. Hanging out. And a little lurking. That's great. Glad to have you here. Um, we heard there was a necromancer in this area. We did do two of our quests. <clears throat> we could go turn those in. I guess while we're here, let's try to um, explore a little more. Got another heal. Well, no, actually, let's save that heal. We'll use that heal to get back in case we need to. Save ourselves a reason. We'll come back when a necromancer sounds so scary. Off we go. Actually, stop a quick save first. We don't have to pick up those items. You want it? You've got it. We die. 
go to Barragosto. It worked great. Don't worry. Smoother than the first try. And then we needed to kept that heal for nothing. Um in. What was that? Was it the jovial juggler that um is there the burning wizard. Where are we going? So let's go there. Is this not <laughs> sorry. There we go. This is where we're headed. Okay. And, uh, I guess... Let's see, yeah, we, go, we should go do Kagan's quest, I think. We can't have Dorne's quest triggering. It means we can't really go anywhere to the south. And we can't really take on these infights until we're level 2, I don't think. Where is her long? I've got this. Go. So uh, let's try giving him his boot back. I think, uh, yeah. You're a godsend. Ah, oh, here's all that gold I took from you. I may be a kleptomaniac, but at least I'm an honorable one, right? And here's a hundred gold pieces for your help, too. Consider it a down payment on your pocket. And more importantly, we got 300 experience. I've got this. are now up to 1100 gold got some more stuff to sell off here um let's check the map when we went to the thunder hammer it was empty go over to kagan's shop and see if he'll buy our Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. You're having a good time. Don't worry about me. Looking for some side quests. Okay, can I not? Okay, I can't actually shop here. Right, right. He does mercenaries. Stop. I've got this. Um. Well, let's go find Entar's son. Entar's son is where we need to go. To the east and outside. Post where we want to be. I see, so we need to go up towards the friendly arm. To do Hagen's quest. Let's head there. I guess while we're at it, let's uh, pick up some XP by exploring all this. Oh, hey, well, I think this is one of the caravans that we were making. Why is the bandits money? Oh, so there's one, and it's not. Nobody is alive. That was easy. Uh, the one that we're looking for is west of the friendly army. Here. Lion's way. So Lion's Way is apparently where we started. So let's, uh... Post Way. Oh, this is the... Oh, alright, we're in the right place. Okay. Where are we going? Up the hillside. Um, 
but we would have to bring him with us. There is no reward for the quest. Um, in the original Baldur's Gate. Um, he would give us a thing. Well, um, it's not that we won't do this one. That doesn't miss anything. And we will just explore around trying to find some stuff to kill. Okay, there we go. Your boat. Oh, so we've got some gibberlings knocked down. I've got this. There's also probably some quests at the friendly arm that we could pick up. I'm going to slow it here. Getting there. Getting there. Let's see if I can find like a list of early game side quests. Just some chunk XP here and there. to the east coast way this is there's some chipperlings a little bit of XP here find something else. Some more trouble to get in. Not actually. Yikes. Yikes. do Ooh. you want it you 270 XP no way there's another 105 you gotta retreat after him Bring, uh, that's Very plan well. forward. Good way, Jeff. At once. You want it? You got it. Okay. Go. Let's drop a heal now. 
I can heal. We're nice and close to town, sweet. Gold lying on the ground here. Don't want that behind. I guess this would be the other caravan. The old. A bit of gold. Worth coming out here after all. Got a lot of XP for exploring this. Not expecting to uh, see that over. The kill that was um, very nice. Profit. Excited to see what those belts give us. I forget what they are. I, I haven't played uh, Baldur's Gate 1 in so long. I don't know what those items are. Save. These aren't too bad, but they usually. Oh, no, they're chasing me. They usually come in groups. Looks like there's only two. Okay, that's good. Pretty wimpy when they're by themselves like that. They usually come in larger groups. Yeah, a bunch of those in a large group. You want it? You've got it. It's pretty. Uh, looks like this big middle area over here is still unexplored. Let's go check that out. Getting pretty close to leveling up now. Just a thousand more experience and we'll have everyone starting to take over to level two. That'll make all that stuff in Nashville. There is a through way. Not really helpful. Not used to seeing level 1 characters, yeah! Oh yeah. There's so much stuff um, that we have not been able to do yet. Because uh, practically every inn has somebody in it that wants to kill us. <laughs> so we've got to get up to level 2 before we can take on some of those inn fights. Not getting one shot. <laughs> it's a bit of a journey. Once we start getting level 2 for everyone, I think we'll be able to get those, get into those inns and get a couple more side quests for the XP. In. This is, uh, this is SES, so I did ask for this. Play <laughs> SES on Insane. So, can't complain. Hmm. I guess this area is just fairly inaccessible. Good way to get down there. Can't go there. Which means we have explored the map. So let's keep going north though. Go to the friendly arm. See if we can find any side quests up here. Maybe this. there's Yeah, yeah, we are we are definitely gonna be level one <laughs> or a uh, um, we have already been low for a long time. Once we hit level 2, everything gets much easier. Got enough money, let's stop by this temple. Get our magical items identified. Good. You are well wanted here in Garl, Glitter Gold. For a bit of respectful coin, we can hear what ails thee if you need. What sort of cures do you have available? Actually, not ask for any cures, but rather identify. Get those identified. 
two girdles. <laughs> girdle of masculinity and femininity and elves bane. Okay. The girdle of masculinity and femininity is a cursed item. Uh, that, <laughs> yeah, transforms you into the opposite gender there. And is cursed. Also have the girdle of piercing, elves bane. This is actually very good. Plus three versus missile and piercing. Wow. That's great. I'm going to want to use that. About this belt that Garion had. Belt of Antipode. And we also have the Whistling Sword plus two. Worth money. Morning. Morning, huh? Ooh, that Whistling Sword plus two is worth quite a lot of money. Just a plus two short sword. We don't actually have a short sword user. But is our only magical weapon right now. We should probably hold on to it. Magical quarterstaff. Doubles all fire damage taken, but gives 100% cold resistance. Very interesting. Wow. Hold on to these. Uh, Bain, we think we'll sell off the girdle of masculinity and femininity. Huh? that here. Got this. Perhaps the tavern keeper will buy it off of us. Many of these tavern keepers are also shopkeepers. Your party forth. You have no option to give them this girdle. Ah. Yes, we need a patch. We need a patch to give that guard the girdle. That's pretty funny. It's erasure. I would like to get my Hello, convenient. Save me $20,000. Sell that off. Some very good potions here. Wow, oh, those are excellent potions. Need these scrolls. Seems like we could probably turn this in for a quest reward somewhere, but I don't know where. Let me Google that. <laughs> cost 250 XP uh, okay so we got a little bit of XP there not sell that either bye here oh we can get a plate mail do we want to that's pretty good. We've already got pretty good armor already. Right. How much we need that? I could try to sell off this plus two sword as well. We really have just two magical weapons. I worry that we're going to encounter. There's another thing to sell. I worry that we're going to encounter something scary. Not be able because we don't have magical weapon. I don't really want to sell those magic weapons off. Hold on to them. You can use the elf spain. Completely impossible to hit. Are you making coffee or espresso? Will you make a quad?
Right. Oh, shit. Good there. We could sell these, but hold on to this. Lucky it. <laughs> with our 18 intelligence. Have replacements for these. Let's try. Ooh, okay. Got it. All of them. Okay. Right, so let's try to have armor learned here. Got two. So, and 18 intelligence on this <laughs> bard is going to come. Candy. That will save us a lot of failed spell scroll. Some scrolls we are going to be much more careful about using. Make sure to consume a potion of genius and eat lots of scrolls at once. Those spread around. Just townsfolk's home. Let's explore the town. See if we can find anyone named. Seems not. There's apparently, right, there's a second floor. I have found a wiki page for all of the quests at the Friendly Arm Inn. Correct. There's a, a girdle called the Girdle of Magic. Changes. Can you see one? Magical. Somebody. Let's huh? I think that guy also is the guy that we can steal the golden pantaloons. We'll want to do that before we uh, end the game, but we don't have the pickpocketing left for it. You cannot get better than the stability stone walls provide. I had to bargain my new girdle of piercing for my life out there. Anyone interested in an autographed copy of my book? Oh, hey, actually, that girdle of piercing I found. That's it. Uh, <laughs> uh well, I'm giving it back to him. All spin. Thanks for getting this back to me. Damn weird ogre though, don't you think? Here's 95 gold pieces for your trouble and a new history book I've just completed. Okay, so we lose the item, but we gain 800 XP. That's done, so. A great item for not much XP. We need the XP. We need the XP so, so much. Okay. 
but there's one. Done. Already done that. Uh, So there is the place in I need to find Landrin. You want it? You've got it. So that might be the third floor. Third floor then. You want it? You've got it. It's Landrin. A pleasure it is to meet you. Hey, I've got an infestation of poisonous spiders in my cellar in Baragos. Bentley said I could stay here until they move on, but I hate to impose. You'll know the house when you see it. Just to the west of the Jovial Juggler Inn. Here, take these potions with you. They're antidotes against the poison. Keep whatever you don't use, and I'll give you an extra 120 gold pieces if you bring back my husband's old boots that he keeps down there. If you bring back one of their bodies, and my old bottle of wine as well, I might toss in a little something extra too. Okay, so she's sending us after those spiders. Oh, don't think we're going to do those just yet. I'd like to be level 2 for that. Let's get a couple of our level 2s in. Let's see. What about this flame dance ring? Side quest available from chapter 1. Now, Joya is is a house outside. Put her house. Slow. Right. Yeah. Oh, she's We can figure out how on earth to get to level two. Hey, I got this. Oh, great! Thank you. Will you please clean? What? Will you clean it? Don't worry about me. Hey, I am gonna make myself a cup of coffee. Right back.